Hello everyone. We are going to look at the CC settings uh, in Fedina for any course. So we first need to see whether uh, we have selected CC while uh, doing the general settings in Fedina. So here, uh, include grading system should include uh, CCE uh, for so that when we create courses, we can select the grading system for them as CCE. So uh, let me create a course that. Uh, will be following CC so we can go to manage course batch and manage course so I'm going to create a new grade here let's say this is a grade that follows CCE so here grading system I need to select as CCE and the batch name let's say I'm creating as A2014 and I'm giving the appropriate start and end date so after this grade is created, uh, it has one batch, G3A 2014. And I've said that this course is going to follow CC. And now what we're going to do is we are going to do the settings, exam settings for that uh, course. So let me also have one student inside it. So I'm going to admit a student by going to student, student admission. We can give proper details here. So after adding the student, I can find her here. And the student, we can see that uh, she belongs to G1A 2014. Let's uh, change her sec batch to G3A 2014. So now we are going to academics, examination, and settings. So here, uh, CC is actually divided into two uh, ways, scholastic, and course scholastic so scholastic means uh, FAs and uh, essays and course scholastic would mean um, the co-curricular activities that the student uh, will be doing will be marked on so generally uh, you know this scholastic will be nine point grading system And course scholastic will be five point grading system. Again, this is just a, mm, you know, this is just a, a example. It will depend on the institution again. So uh, uh, here th for course scholastic, it will be grazed based on uh, uh, extra curricular activities. Actually, this will be uh, mainly like areas, course scholastic areas and course scholastic activities so this is about you know scholastic and course scholastic now we need to do we need to set uh, grades of uh, scholastic so we'll be going to set grading levels and here we are going to select the batch that follows CC and uh, the batch is using the common set of grades and common set is this so we want for scholastic, let's say we want nine point grading system. So I need to change it. So I'm going to add grades here. So let me add some grades. Let's say and we need to give some credit points here. So this uh, again, this has to be done appropriately. I'm just get, uh, get uh, giving some demo data. So this is how all the grades uh, are to be set. And these are scholastic gr grades that we are setting. We'll also see how to set uh, the uh, course scholastic grades uh, after this. Co the now, course scholastic is generally a five point grading system. And this is a 10 point grading system. That is why we are giving like this. And after this, we are going to have here and description and credit points, let's say four. So on, we are going to add all the grading systems here. So let's say we can add it till one here. 
So let's say we've added all the grading levels. So this is the scholastic grading levels. Now we need to go to um, CC settings. So here in basing settings, you will again see CC grade sets. So you need to click on this and here you need to add the grade sets which are co-scholastic grade sets. So we've added scholastic um, before earlier. Now we're going to add co-scholastic. you can click on this and it will give an option to add so in the similar way you just need to give the grade uh, grade name and grade points So let's say we've created the grade sets. Now these are co-scholastic grade sets. So let's go back. So we've done we've done we've done the setting of grading levels. We've done uh, for scholastic and co-scholastic. Now we are going to do FAs and essays. So uh, first let's go to CC exam categories. Now generally what will happen? Again, uh, this is a general uh, um, scenario that is that may be followed by an institution. So it is divided into, you know, the full academic year is divided into term one and term two. And term one uh, will have two FAs and one essay. And similarly, it's for term two. Two FAs and one essay. And the weightage of each FA would be 10 and essay would be 30. So you can see, uh, one term would be 50. Uh, the weightage of one term would be 50. Similar is the case with second term. So, uh, you know, this is uh, what is the weightage that is generally followed. So we are going to do the same thing. Now it is asking us to create exam categories. Exam categories is so same as the term that we have. So let's give a proper description. So let's say we have two terms. So this is what you have to do in exam categories. And then we need to give weightages. So let's give CC weightages. So weightages would be something like 10. And for what do you want to have 10? For FA. And what is the category? I mean, what is the exam for which you want to have 10 FA? Term 1. So similarly, we are going to create for 10 FA for term 2. Then we'll have 30. SA for term 1 and 30 SA for term 2. So this is what we have to do. But now you'll observe here you need not create 10 FA for term 1 again because Fidina alt automatically takes two times of FA plus SA. So it will be like 10 FA plus 10 FA automatically plus 30 SA. So term 1 will have 10 FA, term 2 will have 10 uh, FA, term 1 30 SA, term 2 30 SA. So again I need not create. For example I told you here that it is 2 FAs but do not create here because Fedina automatically calculates. So this is the weightages uh, that we do. Then we need to assign weightages. So here for grade 3 what all weightages are required? Let's say we want all of them because uh, you will see that actually the sum is here 80 but 2 FA it will automatically take in one term. So it is going to be 100. So we can save it. So we have assigned the weightages now. We have done the basic settings. Now let's go back to co-scholastic settings and then we'll see scholastic second settings. So here we need to create co-scholastic items. So co-scholastic items are uh, something like, uh, you know, they are already defined by CBSE, so you'll be able to create them. So let's say thinking skills. We 
give a proper this we can give a proper description here so let's say this is a course scholastic area they are actually divided into course scholastic area or activity so let's say this is a area and what is the grade set that is applicable let's say it is grade set for grade 3 so all those grades that we created five point scale will be applicable here so i'm creating this and inside this we again need to create a criteria so let's say this is one criteria we can give a description and inside this cr criteria we need to create an indicator because this is actually what is going to be evaluated so, so this is what the evaluator will get actually and he needs to give uh, the grades in front of this criteria in front of this descriptive indicator so uh, this is how observation groups has to be created there will be uh, areas and activities so there you can create as many you want and uh, after this I I'll just show you what I have already created some uh, areas so we can see from there for some course I have opened a new instance and I'm showing from there so we can go to settings academic sorry examination settings CC settings, course scholastic settings and items. So you can see I've already created thinking skills and I have some uh, observations here. So strengths and weaknesses is one observation and this is what is the indicator. So this is what will be evaluated again. So I have another one. So I've already created few in the same way I've created work education and so on. So after you've created all, all these uh, observation groups, this is in course scholastic settings. Let's say we have done that. We need to assign course scholastic items. So we need to say for grade three, what all the uh, what all will get grade three follow? Because there might be many grades, so you might not have to give all all the observation groups to all the grades. So you will be given an option to select here. I'll just show you here with uh, more data. So you can see for grade three, I, I'm selecting this. So thinking skills, work education, health and physical activities. So this is, you know, we have assigned the course to the course scholastic uh, items. And now we need to do scholastic settings. So scholastic settings, as I said, scholastic is divided into FAs and essays. So let's do FA setting and we'll, after this we'll see the essay setting. So formative assessment items, this is similar to what we did for course scholastic items actually. You need to give scholastic items. Again, I'll show you some examples of scholastic items. So like maths FA1, I've created, I'll just create one, it'll be clear. So uh, FA is dependent on a subject. For example, a project of subject or assignment or classwork or homework or class tests, oral tests. These all are the FAs. So maths, I'm, uh, this will be, I'm making it more readable by giving it the name of the subject. So for maths, I want FA1. And what is the description? I can give description. Maximum marks and what is the exam category? Is it for term 1 or term 2? So let's say this course uh, grade 3 that I had is going to have four subjects. Let's assume that. So maths, science, social science and English. So I need to create FAs for term 1. FA1 because there will be two FAs now so FA1 term 1 FA2 again four subjects term 1 FA3 for term 2 and FA4 for term 2 so you can see now eight of them because there are four subjects so two FAs in each term so it will be eight of them here so when I open this you can see the you know the criteria and inside this what I'm going to give is actually going to get evaluated so evaluator will be looking at this and giving the grade. So this is about uh, setting up scholastic items and then we need to assign similar to what we did for uh, course scholastic. So uh, see now it is also asking for subject because FA is dependent on the subject as well. So I can select the subject and I can assign FA1, FA2, FA3, FA4 of that subject. Similarly I can do for another subject. and so on so this is about uh, setting up scholastic settings co-scholastic settings and basic settings now after we have done this we need to do essay 
so we have done FAs we have done um, the co-scholastic items and assigning them now we are left with essays so let's do essay so for essay we can go to exam management so essays are created like normal exams because they are again the written exams that the student will be writing uh, for a particular subject so I'm going to create let's say I have a course here uh, this is already created this is another instance so grade 5 okay let me see the course that follows essay Yeah, so grade 3 is the one that follows essay. Uh, the difference between uh, a normal grading system following course and a course that follows CC would be that you will see this course scholastic result entry extra here. So when you click on it, you can see that what all I assigned for grade 3 is appearing here. And when I click on this, it is going to open uh, the list of the students and it is going to open the details in each criteria. So I, I will be able to give the course scholastic grades that I have uh, set uh, in the settings for each of the students. So I can set this and after setting this, I'm going to create a term one and term two exams. And after in term one and term two, we are going to see how we can mark the students and we can also see how we can assign FA scores for each student. So as I was saying, you can see for thinking skills, it is opening the student list and I can give them grades here. So you can see that grading level, uh, those that we have set are appearing here. We can give them and we can save it. You can see the descriptive indicators are appearing here. So this is how the evaluator needs to evaluate. And after doing course scholastic result entry for each student, you can create exams. So this is like creating normal exams in Fadina. And we can go to term one exams, all the subjects are appearing and in each subject we can give marks to the student and the corresponding grade. Now this is that scholastic grade that we had set. Scholastic grade is for essay that is appearing. And you will see here for each of the subject there will be FA scores. So see for maths we assigned the two. So again I need to select, I need to give marks for each of the descriptive indicator. So this is about setting FA and SA in CC. Now I'll just show you an example of the report, how the report will look like uh, so for this grade for CC. So we can go to report center and here we will see CC reports. So CC, key, CC has a dedicated report center which is CC reports and for the first time if you're generating reports you can go to generate reports and select the grade for which you want to ge generate select the batch and click on generate again generation of a report is going to take some time because it deals with a lot of marks with a lot of students and a lot of batches so let's go back let's go back here and let's see a uh, student report now so I'll just show you for grade 3 see this is how the student report will look like so it is giving all the details and it you can even take the PDF report of the student you can see for the student you can see it is grading based it is giving you the uh, cumulative CGPA and course scholastic activity area applicable to this great student and so on so this is we can get the student wise report we can get the assessment wise so all these can be set and this is about CC uh, we are going to deal with in the next video we're going to deal with ICSC how to uh, configure ICSC for a course. Thanks a lot for watching. Be tuned in for more videos.